Hello, I'd like to wish you a very happy Easter from the Irish Freedom Party. I believe that no, uh, no government ministers have done, welcomed uh, or mentioned Easter. Uh, it's quite incredible in a predominantly and historically Christian country that no government minister mentions or celebrates Christianity. Myself, I was at a local church here uh, in County Louth, country church, and it was in there and you could see the people who were there, that those people, their families had lived in this, in this area for generations. Uh, they were grounded uh, in the history of the area. Their families had lived there for generations and they passed on the faith between generation and generation until today. I noticed when I was studying at college that many of the guys who were Irish speaking were also very devout Catholics. And there is definitely a, a strong connection between Irish language, Irish culture, and practice of the Christian faith. And let's be honest, Catholic faith. The vast majority of people here in Ireland are Irish and Catholic. There's no faith test in the Irish Freedom Party at all. We do have principles, obviously, which are strongly pro-life and in favor of a culture of life rather than a destructive culture of death. Uh, however, we do, I personally do believe that a virtuous society is a free society when you don't have the need for an external authoritarian state and police force to prevent vice. A free society is more people freely trying to live a good life and not stealing, not lying, and not raping. Uh, so a, a virtuous society is a free society. But just the whole thing about where Ireland finds itself at the moment, we're in a tough situation because the predominant ma markers of identity is uh, language and religion. The practice of Christian faith has fallen in recent de decades. And of course, over the last century and a half or, or more, uh, the practice of uh, and use of the Irish language has also declined. And with that, and as members of the EU, under the British Empire first and now under the EU, that uh, our national sovereignty has disappeared. We can see we have virtually no borders and anybody who wants to can walk in. Experience of Easter Mass this morning does underscore for me the importance of a sense of place, a sense of identity, and also a strong sense of Christian faith. It is the foundation of Irish identity for the last millennia and a half, 1,500 years. And I do notice that the majority, maybe not all, but a, a strong majority of people who would describe themselves now as Irish nationalists would also regard themselves as maybe not practicing Christians, but believing uh, Christians. Uh, so, and those are enemies, those who wish to destroy Irish identity and Irish sovereignty would dis happily describe themselves as secular and anti-Christian. A large part of we cannot defend our nationhood and our culture when we don't have a belief in that culture itself. The foundation stone is Irish language, uh, Gaelic, Gaelic culture, our language, our dance, our music, our language, and also our religious faith. A very strong point that we have to be cognizant of now, and we can see it especially in countries like Sweden and France and Germany, is where the, the practice of Christian faith, or belief in the Christian faith decline, nature abhors a vacuum. And in place of a religious foundation to society, the Islam, with a different culture, a different set of values, a different beliefs, will come in like a, like a tide. Because secular, this aggressive secularism we've had in Ireland for decades now, is, is paper thin. And it is in, impotent to uh, stop the imposition of a strong-willed religious culture from the Middle East. So we, as a party, are respectful of uh, the religious uh, foundation and Christian foundation of Irish society. 
we will stand up for it, for its values, especially its pro-life values. And this Easter, not only is, do we celebrate Christ is risen, but also on Easter Monday, we celebrate the anniversary of Irish people rising up in 1916 to take back against the overwhelming might of the British Empire, taking back the right of Irish people to self-governance, to determine our own affairs democratically through the ballot box, to take control of our money, our laws and our borders. And once again, the Irish people taking back control of our own country and deciding our own destiny as a people. So once again, I wish you a very happy Easter. It's, it's uh, I put it up uh, a meme there yesterday that it's interesting that in English, uh, the cock crows cock a doodle do, but actually in Irish, especially on Easter Sunday, people interpret this noise from the cockerel as a uh, Magnahoga slan, the virgin sun is risen, or the virgin's run, virgin sun is safe. It shows you how Christianity, Christian beliefs and Christian values are deeply ingrained in the Irish language. So once again, happy Easter, to you, your family, and let's be cognizant of ourselves, the importance of uh, religious faith and religious identity as foundational to Irish to Irish uh, society. Stanis Bannock, Goro Magadze.